Beach FM, locals talking to locals. Beach FM 106.3, my pleasure to welcome the chair of the Paraparaumu Raumati Community Board, Cathy Spires. Good morning and welcome, Cathy. Good morning, John. Thank you. Have uh, you been all shaken up with the earthquakes of late? Yes, we've had a few, haven't we? We have. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking they've disappeared, but maybe they haven't. Oh, I don't think so. These are the shaky aisles, Cathy. Now, I seem to recall that you went to a session uh, with Renee and the rest of the people from Civil Defence or Emergency Management, whatever they call themselves these days, and you and uh, the rest of the team and the community board took part in a, uh, a sort of a preparation session. Did that come in useful when the shakes arrived? Well, well, yes, it, it did for us who were involved in it. We have had a few meetings with Renee, which have been really, really good. We were meant to have one at Raumati South, but that was lockdown came, so we haven't been able to um, hold that one for the people at Raumati South. But we did have a drill in the Capital Community Centre, and that was excellent, and people from the community came along, and um, it was really, really good. But my feeling is now, with these earthquakes recently, our community board needs to get involved in a local earthquake plan and get information out to the community of you know and reminding people what you need in your kit where do you go who do you ring what's available to you Mm. and getting the um ensuring that they know their neighbors more and becoming you know more involved with neighborhoods and knowing that who's in their street and helping out each other but i think a plan um you know, itemising all these things of, you know, the phone numbers and things that people will know exactly what to do because it's quite yeah. frightening. I mean, I jumped out of bed and went to my front door. Mm. I know it's automatic for me. Other mm. people just stay in bed. Or mm. um, So what's the safest thing to do? It's very hard to know, of course, until the big one hits. What? The need for a community plan, but also individual plans for households. Yes, yes, as well, so that you have, you know, what thing, like you need your torches, you need your medication, um, and things, first aid kits, food, water. So make sure you've got all of those things in your home and stored. But then again, it's another issue, isn't it? Because I mean, like myself, I went outside, but my water's all stored in my bedroom. So you've mm. got to think, well, you know, where's the best place to, to put it? Maybe it's in a one of those bags on wheels, those little carry bag things with those bags that yep. you use when you yep. travel overseas and you can just Great grab bag. a handle and take it. Yes, and and take, take off. It's a shame that we only talk about it after we have an earthquake. I mean, the logical <laughs> thing is to consider it before, isn't it? <laughs> yes, well, Renee at Rima has been very good because she was considering it prior. But, of course, um, we didn't get to our Matty South. So I was letting everybody in our community board area know mm. that yeah, these are the, these are the hubs and where to go as well. Renee has been very busy recently as part of the COVID nineteen response, and she's simply been snowed under. But uh, yeah. she's a reg- regular contributor, so yes, we'll have to see if we can uh, find some time that uh, Renee can join us. Now, have you been off to inspect the playground, Kathy? I did. I went down to Mason Guard Road and it's all open for business now. So there were some people down there with their children on the swing already. That was Friday afternoon and they just took the, um, the fences and that away on Friday morning. But it's very pretty and it's very lovely. They've got a xylophone down there. Oh. It just stands in the ground and it's quite big. So I had a, I had a go with it myself. And there's a um, small climbing wall for, for the little ease. So they've um, separated the swings out from the activities for children, younger children and older children. But there's also this big, huge, massive climbing. It's um, like a netting that you climb up and you slide right down the slide, and it's amazing. And did you? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bit old for that. I'm looking forward to 2023, 2022, 23, I think it is. They were getting our older people's yes. Um, yes. and uh, equipment, play equipment down at McLean Park at least. But we also need to have that in all the other parks. So, I'm sure we um, do, yes. That's going to be really, really good. The xylophone you mentioned, does it make music? Yes, it does. Yes, I, I tried it out. Um, it's not loud, loud, but it's it's really good. You could, young children could sit there and play and have a sing along. Mm. It's quite exciting. Mm. So this adds to quite a lot of equipment for families in the Mason Garb area, doesn't it? 
It is, and it's good because when you take your know, children down there for sport, just, you know, watching the sporting as well, it gives other young children there that you have or older children places to go and have, you know, have some fun while they while they're down there with their um, families. Yes, it really is becoming quite a complex, that one, and something that I hope people do avail themselves of because there's so much to do there. Now, we are in June, believe it or not. It's hard to believe, isn't it? And I know. Yes, <laughs> the year just keeps tumbling on. But uh, the 30th of June is quite important in terms of council finances, isn't it? It is, yes. Well, council has its meeting on the 28th of June to um, put in place the annual plan. So that people are, um, I'm not sure if it's closed or not, but people did have an opportunity to, um, you know, have their comments made on, on the annual plan. I think the rates increase is about 2.6%. Yes, um, yes, indeed. But does this affect the community board and in particular the funds that you dispense? Do you have to get it done by the end of the month? Well, Council has allowed the community boards to roll over the funding this year that they have not spent during this year because there's many, we have lots of organisations and young people applying for our community grants that go overseas and sporting activities and hall hiring. So we've still got a bit of money in the, in the kitty, but it has been, we're able to have it rolled over. Okay. But in the meantime, I'd just let people, like people to know our community board meeting has now been changed to the 23rd of June in our council chambers. That's to give the distancing and space, oh. enough space for the distancing. But there's also, there's still funds available. And the people out there in the community with organisations, groups, because some of them are starting to get back in the swing of things now, even small businesses who have been affected or impacted by COVID-19, just, please put in your application and apply for the funding. It is still sitting there. The forms are on the council website, right down the bottom left-hand corner. You'll see grants funds. Just click on that and go to put it in your Ramadi Community Board. It will lead you there and, and put in your application and apply. Excellent. We haven't had any, haven't had any application for about the last couple, two or three weeks. So I just wanted the residents to know there is still funding available there for people. And that's a lovely thing to hear and lovely to hear from you. Thank you very much for your company this morning, Cathy. Thank you, John. Cathy Spires. 106.3 BGFM.